Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lounging with Lisa, coming at you wildly from now and again gift shop boutique located for your convenience on Water Street, Connie Lake. I thought I'm going to dress like spring, even though it's not. It's pretty cold out. So I wore this lovely thing, a camisole, pair of jeans, and a bandana. Sort of that country spring look going on. Anyhow, uh, here I am. Now, last night I almost did a video, like at, um, where can I go sit? I'll go back here. I almost, um... I was in the room formerly known as the child, so I don't disturb Joel while I'm giggling and uh, looking or listening to a sister wives <laughs> blog. You know how I'm my guilty pleasure is sister wives. I've gone crazy with it now, and I found this podcast called, um, oh God, what's it called? Hang on. Surviving Sister Wives. It's on like that Spotify or what have you. It is Spotify. No, it's not what have you. Um. So I was laughing and everything, but Mars has been driving me crazy lately. I think I mentioned that in an earlier video. She like, she'll stare at me and stuff. I don't know if you remember, but when Zoe lived, as my great aunt used to say when referring to a dead person, when Zoe lived, um, I'd have to kind of sneak around and like hide from her and stuff because she'd always want fed. So now Mars is doing that, but Mars has good hearing, whereas Zoe did not. But she like stares at me. And then if I move at all, as I'm cuddled in the bed giggling to sister wives, um, she'll... Like, she comes right up, and she starts purring wildly and rubbing her head, and then she'll, like, grab my arm. So what she wants is for me to get out of that comfortable position and give her some of the bisque that we bought for Zoe, but now she's eating. So that's her little end game. But she just kept on, and I kept putting her off the bed, and then she'd do it again, and then I'd, like, hide, and she would settle in, and I could feel something staring at me, and I'd look, and she's sitting on the floor just looking up. So it's just... I almost uh, did a video telling you that, or showing you that, but now you'll just have to imagine it in your little heads. Big heads. Heads. Um, yeah, so anyhow, today I had customers, and it's been really slow here. One of the reasons we're having the 20% sales to drive that business, ladies and gentlemen, drive it. So I forgot how to do everything. Um, how to write a ticket, how to... I remembered how to take off the 20% and what gets that 20%. Everything except for candles and soaps. Everything. But then I forgot one small detail. There's tax involved on certain things other than clothing here in the state of PA. Totally spaced on the tax, but I caught it in time so it didn't interfere with, you know, the customer paying or whatever. So and I had a nice to-go order that I put together. That's what I call it, a to-go order. We do take to-go orders here at, uh, now and again. So um, by the time I did that, I was getting used to it. But we got a new credit card machine. I've never used it. I'm pointing at it like you're going to see it. It's there. Just take my word for it. Um, so people have been paying with cash, which is very enjoyable. We, we like that idea. Um, I don't know what else to tell you other than it's cold, but it's sunny, so it's kind of pleasant out. And um, when I get out of here, I have to fly home and do the deadline for the paper. I'm going to be helping out quite a bit here in the next few weeks because um, any of the other helpers are like in school. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be doing that and like a couple hours here and there and we're splitting shifts and all this but I have to work the newspaper into it so I've been bringing my work here but I can't do deadline from here so we're closing at three today instead of four so um yeah when I get off I'll have to go home and do that and then fly down to Ears Acres and deal with those cute little animals that's my therapy ladies and gentlemen all right I'll show you me it's not that exciting I have my glasses clipped around my pen I'm very serious See, it's just a, I wore boots, actually. I wore these, like, Herman Munster type boots that were $3. They might have even been $2 at the um, Samaritans, and I've never worn them, but they were just a little too warm, even though they're not that warm of boots. It's just, I'm warm. You know how I am. So, I had shoes here. I always have shoes here in a little bag. Like, remember in school, you would carry your shoes and, wear boots until you got older and then kids would tease you so everybody quit doing that instead they just got soaked feet and everything because god forbid could you be teased by another student it's best that you get wet feet and athlete's foot and all that rather than be tormented by a seventh grade or something okay i'm done i'm exhausting myself okay over and out here on lounging with lisa maple leaf the video series that has me lounging wow my nose really goes uh, while coming at you with thoughts of the day, please drop those dastardly political identities. 
Let's focus on issues, leave labels at the door, research before you judge, and remember war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. Somebody asked me to comment on Joe Biden and Russia and Putin and all this jazz. Look, <clears throat> I'm completely anti-war, so here's my comment. I am so anti-war, and I think I'm pretty positive that most every war that we, the United States of America, uh, has um, promoted, let's say, is on false pretense completely. It's they're all made up silly stories of why we have to do this, that, and the other. And I just think it's a bit creepy how everybody like just goes along with the mainstream narrative and they're, you know, supporting this one country and wearing the colors of the country without realizing that, you know, there's more to the story, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I'm not a big Jimmy Dore watcher anymore, but only because I think politics is kind of a sideshow and all that. And I, you know, I'm kind of, like, I'm not even sure I'm sitting here. I'm kind of into the esoteric kind of jazz. And I just think there's more to the story and politics is to divide people and not keep us on the spiritual path or looking in another direction or the conspiratorial path, whatever you want to call it. However, he's very good with this particular issue. He's always kind of good with the anti-war stuff. So um, I, I think I really uh, pretty much share his view on the Russia and all the jazz. I have a Russia cup, and I'm going to drink out of it proudly. Not right now, though. I'm drinking out of a winter cup. So that's the story. For I forget who it was. I didn't recognize the lounger. might have been somebody who used to lounge, left me a comment a while ago, saying that, oh, I know. They looked at my channel, not the trailer, but the about section or something, and I mentioned that I might talk about politics occasionally. I need to update all that. I just didn't. You know, forgive me. There's other things I'm... On which I'm concentrating, but, um, yeah, so that's the deal. Uh, okay, there you have it, over and out. Now, don't clutch pearls and throw rotten tomatoes at your screen, but that is my view. Distraction, always, you know, lying about it. You know, it's just one big old lie. Okay, love you, bye. I rhymed.